Somebody gonna have a talk with a daddy. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. I know, smoking all the damn cigars. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? Now that is a good question. That's a trip that the father actually advised her to tell them like a little earlier. I thought he was going to tell her the opposite where he was like, you know, why the fuck why the fuck would you tell them our family secret? He was like, why did you hide it so long? That's that's straight up. I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. Wow, he's a straight up guy. I wonder why he's acting so shady though. But two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Corrijo family separated from the Nanjo group. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. He talks so quietly, the music almost overshadows his voice. Yes, father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? <laughs> Damn, he's <laughs> he's all in her Kool-Aid, man. I'm I'm sorry. The fuck's wrong with you, woman? Damn teenager. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. We talking about talking about uh Yukari? Father? Well that makes sense because of what happened with her dad, huh? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. That's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Nice. Oh, nihilism is uh, when you only when you don't believe in anything. Okay, so if if uh, like a lot of people out there believe in God, some people believe in Jesus, some people believe in I. I guess uh, Buddha or whatever. A nihilist is somebody who doesn't believe in anything. Once they don't believe in anything, they go out of their way to to uh, prove to everybody else that nothing, like nothing, happens when you die or whatever. And it's kind of weird. They they just they they uh, yeah they believe in chaos. It's it's like you know the Joker is a nihilist. 
Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth, and it's my duty to tell you. Uh oh, time to watch a movie. What's this? I hope the animation's good this time. This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. Oh, I guess we don't get to see it. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. Is it Yukari's dad? It's Yukari's dad, isn't it? Look at that hair. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? Dad? You mean... that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So that means my dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? And that also means college is free! It was all his fault? And and also, you're gonna get a really nice job at the Carrijo Company. Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? I mean, she obviously didn't know what the hell was going on. No, Takiba, I... Oh, she's gonna run away. I don't want your pity! No, I don't do the exact stereotypical thing that anybody would do in a story like um, this. Shouldn't someone go after her? I'll do <sighs> it. Will you go? <laughs> uh, you know, what's weird is that the real me would say sure, because, you know, I, I uh, entertain, I entertain this, this belief that I have some sort of understanding of people and I can make people feel better by chilling with them and letting them talk to me. I don't know if that works. I should hope so. I, I don't think a lot of people uh, leave my presence thinking, oh my God, that guy was an ass. But, you know, I don't know. But I wouldn't say why me, even though, you know, in my mind, I would say why me. It'd be like, Mitsuru, man, you're the one that needs to talk to her. You didn't really know. So why didn't you just state that shit? But obviously she sucks at talking to people. I know what that's like. And just letting her be is not going to do it. She's going to be mad to nobody talk to her. So, yeah, I'll go ahead. Thank you. 
<sighs> you happen to know where in this big mansion she is, though? Oh, well, that's an easy pick. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Well, then you knew. In, is it just me? Is it just me? Am I? Did she just piece that shit together once she found out that he was on? He was the leader of the the team, or did she know that already? You know what I'm saying? So when she ran away just now, was that the final piece of the puzzle that she needed to understand, and that's why she had such a hard time, or did she piece that shit together while she was growing up? And then was just waiting for them to let her know. That's, this is weird. I, I, I'm willing to believe it's the first thing I said. Where they, she just pieced it together at that last second. Anyway. Um, that must have been tough. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. Well, now you're vindicated. Because the Carrillo, uh The... Takeba or whatever his name is, Carrillo, just just said it was their fault. So that you're fine. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. Well, today was your lucky day, then. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. <sighs> but it turns out, all of that was for nothing. Um, that's not true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. Because she has a dad? I mean... Why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Yep. Don't blame yourself. That's how people are. Uh, no, you're not. If she asked me a question, I'm not even answering it with the second one, so. Huh. Well, you're just Mr. Perfect. I'm sorry. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? <laughs> I'm sorry, bitch. You think you know me? You don't know anything. I guess I should have just agreed with you then. I'm sorry. Oh. OTL, right? I had some mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. 
totally lost. I love this weird silent protagonist thing. People just lash out at you, you just stare, and then they just keep talking. Let me tell you, that shit doesn't work like that in real life. Tell me, what should I do? You get back in there, and you take your persona and stick it right up their butts. Um, yeah, don't lose hope. <laughs> don't lose hope. It's okay not to know. Stay with us and fight. Um, don't lose hope about what? I'm gonna pick stay with us and fight. Don't lose hope just sounds so damn corny. But it's okay not to know is not the answer I would tell her. She should know. You know, you really are one of a kind. Okay. I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents, too. Yeah, both of them. I don't know what you're bitching about. It is cool that I didn't mention that, either. I would have I gotten extra poontang points had we had that whole conversation. I walked away, and then she would have went home, and then been all mad and sad and shit and then remembered I lost both of my parents I didn't even bring that shit up it's like oh oh shit I'm sorry I'm such an asshole it's okay just lay on my lap lay your head on my pillow and just relax but I'm alright now I'm used to dealing with stressful situations Anyway, thanks for listening. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? <laughs> oh my, you know what? You know what? I came because I wanted to is the mackest the mackest line ever on the planet. I think I'm gonna, I have to, I can't say yeah, I have to say that. I came cause I wanted to. Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, come on, you gotta give her a hug. Hey! Damn it, Junpei, I was about to get laid. Sheesh, what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. The hell is going on here? Hmm? Um, did I miss something? I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Well, duh. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. Well, I mean, I guess you could sleep right through it like I've been doing every half thing. Also, I, I didn't want to say this, but Junpei's jaw kind of irritates me in the drawing. His whole facial facial structure is lined up, but his chin just happens to be slightly tilted to the left. I don't know if you guys can see that, but nose, mouth, the bottom of the lip, and then his goatee is just like to the left of the bottom of his lip. Like, why is that? <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. 
Hope Junpei gets laid. If I <laughs> He's dumb. He's dumb. He doesn't he doesn't learn any of the uh new spells. Like he's the fire he's the fire guy. And I've been playing with him primarily in my party the whole time and everybody's guys have leveled up except for him. And he levels up but He's still using Agi, that that spell that he had right at the beginning. Like I'm waiting for him to use the all, you know, the ma, or whatever it's called, Magi, <laughs> whatever. And he does it. He doesn't use it. It's actually kind of irritating. It's like, dude, everybody's leveled up in their spells, but you, man, the fuck are you doing, anyway? I feel as if I'm being watched. The second day in Yakushima morning. <sighs> the air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. That's how you say it, Iwatodai. Not, I want to die. Iwatodai. Oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? She about to tell everybody she's gay? Oh, yeah. Oh man, I must have put the Mac move on her. She ain't even thinking about anything, huh? Mitsuru speaking. Uh, Mitsuru, we have a slight problem. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. <laughs> what the fuck? A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. <laughs> hey, Mitsuru, is your refrigerator running? Well, then you better go catch it. Waka, waka, waka. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? You're taking a tank to Tartarus. We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Yeah, they're in the real world. They can't use their personas. Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Also, why is, uh, oh, she, uh, Yukari's trying to text the other guys while they're having a phone call. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area, although this island is quite large. Jeez, oh, where could they be? Probably the beach. Seems to be the only place they want to go. 